what's up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video this is weekend so it is going to be a q and a video but before that before taking your comments i want to talk about the ios 18.4 beta 1 i will be talking about the expected release date and also the expected upcoming feature so these are few things that are i'm going to cover in this video now without any further delay let's get jump into this video and first thing first let's talk about the expected upcoming features now 18.4 is hopefully going to be a big update at least bigger than the 18.3 and it is going to bring a lot of different changes and especially with the ai and siri so we might see upgraded siri with the 18.4 where there will be a more better options available siri will be groomed with personal contacts on-screen awareness and in-app actions where you can you know siri might be deeply integrated into the whole system where you can able to do more stuff with siri like you can ask what is going on the siri you can summarize what is going on the screen like you can get into the deep personal context for example if someone you can just ask siri to find the um, maybe passport number from your photos or something like that it is going to be deeply integrated into the whole system this is what expected from the 18.4 also 15.4 16.4 17.4 came out with new emoji so it is expected that 18.4 will might also bring a couple of new emojis for the overall usage this is what is uh, we guys are expecting now if i talk about the expected release date of the 18.4 if you haven't checked out the my previous 18.3 video, go to the channel and check out that video. But for me, expected release date for the 18.4 beta 1 is going to be 28th of January or 29th of January. These two days are when I'm expecting 28, um, 18.4 beta 1 to come out again 28th of January or on 29th of January. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, without any further delay let's get to the youtube studio and let's see what is going on with you guys so over here i am into youtube studio let me get to the top and let's see what is going on over here the first comment isn't ios 19 coming in iphone 10s for now rumors are that iphone 10s might get the support of ios 19 but should you guys like should iphone 10s really need to get the support because it is going to be get slower or the battery is going to be get more ruined i don't think it should get support but there are uh, rumors that it might get support if apple really want to give support to the older iphones they just don't need to you know ruin their battery life ruin their battery draining they can keep up with the performance and yeah can give um more um ios updates but need to bring better performance and the better battery life please tell me something about iphone 15 official wallpaper i'm not sure if it is coming back you can also download it i know when you download it it will not be a live kind of thing or deep effect but for now i'm i'm not sure if it is coming back it might come back so here is excited for the 18.3 that is great I don't know what he is saying. Let me translate into English. Be okay. Show us how to set up Safari. I can do it. It was okay before. How to set up Safari? Like, what do you want to know about Safari? Let me know in the comment section below. I will for sure make a video about that. What you want to know about Safari? Just let me know about that. I'm excited for it. Plus, we hopefully we get new Unity wallpapers as a last-minute change and public release. Let's see. I think. With the 17.3, we got that. Let's see if we are getting this time or not. This update has slow charging. It was on 18.3 RC video. No, not a single um, iOS is having slow charging issue. There's the one thing you need to understand. Let me show you. Now, over here, this is my MagSafe. Okay, this is a 20 watt MagSafe. If I charge this one from here, it will charge quickly. But if I use the wireless charging, for example, something like this now it is not a quick charge it is a slow charging um 
it depends upon the charger. You might get the, uh, uh, actually it depends upon the power bank. You might get the power bank that, you know, supports quick charging through wireless. That could be a thing. But if I charge something like this, and if I go to the settings over here, uh, into the battery section, it's loading the stats. After a while, it will show slow charging over here. For now, it is not showing that. As you can see, I charged my phone, phone during this time. This yellow part over here is indicating slow charging. For now, it is not indicating slow charging. It will, like in a couple of minutes or something like that, it will slow, slow, uh, show slow charging here. But that is not a problem with the 18.3 RC. That is a feature that tells that your charger is slower. So that is that is nothing to do with the iOS. That is all about your slow charger. So if you want a fast charging, you need to get a better battery, a better charger, whatever, better wireless charger, whatever you want. You need to get that a better one over here. Now coming back to the comments. Why I why can I update to I think you want to ask how can I update to 18.3? 18.3 will hopefully come out in maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So don't update to RC update, just wait for the 18.3. More settings for XS Max. Okay, I will try to bring another video in which we will talk about how you can improve the battery life through settings. I am already working on. It's normal way from iOS 16. It don't work as usual. I don't know what the comment is all about. 18 but we say was wanted to be available. I did a video about that. Go to my channel, check out that video. My speaker can't work on XS when I update to how to fix that. Please let me know. Okay, when it comes to hardware issues, most of the time they are not because of software. What you can do is you can go to any repair center and show them your iPhone. I don't think it is going to be because of 18.2.1. It could be any sort of hardware problem. How could have done it this way to click on okay this is something else 18.2.1 ruined my entire experience on my iphone everything was a problem just simple task the horrible battery life yeah i hope 18.3 fixed these issues people are actually not happy with the how things are going um on with you know 18.2.1 what new features may be introduced with iOS 19 to non-AI devices? Well, this is a really good question. Well, as you know, 18.4 is very much about um, AI iPhones. So what people who are using non-AI iPhones can expect from iOS 19? This is a really good question. I will definitely make a video about that very soon after doing my research and see what are the leaks and the rumors so far. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and wait for that video. Can we remove battery unknown part with this? Actually, you cannot. Actually, he is asking, can he remove the battery unknown part from settings? No, that is not going anywhere. If you want to remove that, you need to use um, original battery by Apple. Um, actually, okay. Is green line solved in update? Well, again, green line is not a software issue. Um, it's a hardware issue. Show your display. All right, no Apple. Okay, I'm reading the other some comments. Okay, here is another comment. Did you know that it's not even the iPhone that's making the battery draining? It's all third-party apps that are running in the background. So if anyone wants to fix the battery drain, just keep double-checking the battery settings and see what's the apps running in the background and for how long a turn off the background app refresh definitely you are completely right and i also did this i also said this a couple of times in my video that if there is uh, any app that is consuming lot of battery for example just saying it and you need to check the battery activity for example the me fitness running in the background for one hour and it is consuming the battery life what you can do is you can turn off this app from the background you can go to journal then go to background app refresh from here you can turn out the background process for that app so it you know um, don't consume anything in the background well where it is okay here it is i can turn out from here if i want to just showing you so these were all of some of your comments um i try to you know stay active 
so I can answer, answer most of your comments. Here it is something. Okay, this person is saying the charging is slow. I asked him, are you using this update? He said he is not using this update. He is using beta 3. I don't think there is a slow charging issue. I already offered that. Okay, so yeah, this is all from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up too. Like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.